Zoom has been super easy for my fourth graders. You, you make sure you're in good light and you make sure you're focused and paying attention. You make sure you're somewhere quiet and you have the mute button pressed. It's easy for a fourth grader to operate Zoom. Here we have Billy Spuds, the one who grabs the wrinkliest bag and chomps on potato chips for 45 minutes straight. I love pets, don't you? Here is little kitty cat showing us his cat again and again and again. We can't forget Mr. Whack-A-Mole who always seems to have that camera angle not quite where you want it. Nice haircut. And then we have Senor Silencio who always seems to find himself on mute again and again and again. Or you've got Gollum, who is hidden away in his cave, creeping around, trying to scare us. One of my personal favorites is the Wanderer. This student loves to show us every part of his room again and again. Who can forget the toy wonder who's making sure to show us every single toy he's playing with while not paying a leg of attention to your lesson. And then the bullhead who always seems to wear a bowl. Do you think they need a haircut? My personal favorite are the green screen kids. These students love showing us their green screen and everything that's behind it. What an amazing background. And finally, the kid who literally just woke up and is not gonna move from their bed through the whole lesson and probably just fell asleep. Hey boys and girls, it is week eight of remote learning. I can't believe it's already week eight and your last full week of remote learning. Wow, this is the last formal plan that I'm gonna be sending home for you. I do have some fun things for us to do next week. So please, please, please don't think that this is our last week. And don't forget, we still have fourth grade celebration and I do firmly plan on having guitar club and reading The Hobbit with you over the summer if you choose to. This week is going to be a little like last week with a couple of different things. The one thing I, I do want you to remember is on Wednesday we do have a Kahoot scheduled. I do want as many of you to show up as you can so that I can get you ready because I do have something planned for next Wednesday as well that I really want as many of you to show up for as possible. So whether you're gonna play Kahoot or not, pop in for the first five minutes so that I can tell you about the next week. With that said, this week, here are the things that you're gonna need to do. One full crop QV on Tuesday. Monday and Wednesday, one letter. This is an important letter, boys and girls. You are gonna be writing a letter to those third graders who are going to become fourth graders once this school year ends. I don't know what next year holds, but I do know that those kids are going to be my students in some form or fashion. You're gonna be writing a letter telling them about fourth grade, telling them everything about fourth grade. Please remember, what you give to them is what they will expect from us. And what I mean by that is, it has to be your best work. Because if you give me something sloppy, if you give me something that's not good, when I deliver that letter to those kids next year, they are not going to think that fourth grade is something that they have to work hard in. And you and I both know that's not the case. So the letter on Monday, Wednesday, the crop QVS on Tuesday. Now, you do have your lit terms and techniques sheets. I will have some videos throughout the week, starting on Tuesday, talking to you about what I expect. I know some of you are still struggling with it. It's really not that hard, it's just taking notes. But you have to focus for the one and only Bob. Of course, you've got your five parts of the one and only Bob. We will finish that next week. And finally, uh, Thursday and Friday, you do have a free write. But how you answer that free write is totally up to you. I love art. 
And I think one thing that I've gotten away from is integrating art into what we do because we have an art teacher. But what I want you to do is I want you to read that free write and you can do whatever you want in response. If you wanna write, you can write. If you wanna draw, you can draw. If you wanna paint, you can paint. If you wanna write a song, you can write a song. If you wanna sing, you can sing. If you wanna write a poem, you can write a poem. It's totally up to you. I'll accept anything that's 100% yours and you not only have Thursday to do it, Friday to do it, you have Saturday to do it, Sunday to do it, Monday to do it, it is due on Tuesday and will be your last official piece of work for Mr. Pete. So please put your best work into it. I trust you. As I was editing this, I realized a couple of things. I didn't tell you what the prompt was on Thursday. The prompt is very simple. Tell me who you are in a way that shows the world who you are. Now, I don't want you copying out and taking the easy way out. I want you to really think about this. And if you need to show me in an art piece, that's fantastic. And like I said, in all those other ways, guitar, you can do the recorder, you can paint a picture, you can draw something, you can make a comic, you can write. I know Jack has done some stop motion stuff. I know there's video stuff that you all can do. I don't care. You can do a PowerPoint. I don't care. It's all up to you, okay? That was the first thing. And then the other thing I realized was that I just wanted to let you all know, you know, work hard, be nice, I miss you all, and just know that all I ever expect of you is your best. And I know a lot of you are like, oh, it's hard. Of course it's hard, but it will make you better people and it will make you better students. I miss you guys. I wish we could be in the classroom. Oh, and don't be this Zoomer. Oh, no. <laughs>